Watch out for deer. That tonight from the Department of Natural Resources. Just yesterday, there was a deadly crash in the South Haven area. Investigators say a car collided with a deer, then another car, killing one person. 13 on your side's Julia Gorman joins us now. And Julia, the behavior of the deer changes this time of year. Yeah, Julia, that's right. It's fall in Michigan, so of course we're seeing deer, but with regular firearm season starting on Friday and breeding happening over the next couple of weeks, the DNR says you need to be cautious whenever you're on the road. This is West Michigander Ronnie Smith's car after hitting a deer about a month ago while on his way to Rockford. The impact felt like I had hit another vehicle. While he thankfully walked away with no injuries, his 2015 Ford Focus was totaled. If it would have came through the windshield, I think it would have been a different result. So far in Kent County this year, the sheriff's office says there have been 928 car deer crashes. Deer are going to be running. Rachel Lincoln with the Department of Natural Resources says you could see changes in deer behavior over the next few weeks due to breeding. They're moving much more frequently, much more quickly um, as they try to find mates for successful reproduction. And a lot of times it can be very distracting for deer. Unfortunately, she says morning and evening commute times also line up with when deer are most active. And to make matters worse, regular firearm season for deer hunting starts Friday. They go to shoot a deer, there's a loud noise, it's going to cause deer to run. Deer are very sensitive, they have excellent sense of hearing and smell, and so if they pick up that there's human in the woods, they're also going to flee. To avoid going head to head with these guys, Lincoln says drive cautiously all the time, especially in areas where you're, there's agriculture or open fields or brush um, on the sides of the road. Those are excellent places for deer to be camouflaged in. And so you don't necessarily see them until you're up close. So just reducing your speed a little bit. Watch for reflective deer eyes. And if you see one deer, there are probably more. Don't veer for deer. If there is a deer in the road, you don't want to move your vehicle off the road. It would be unfortunate to hit a deer, but it's better and swerving your car off of the road and, and hitting a tree or something else. So keep your wheels on the road. Now, of course, we all know the phrase deer in the headlights and the DNR explains this is a real thing. When your headlights from your car shine in a deer's eyes, they actually freeze because they're really light sensitive, so they can't actually see at first and they're also startled. So they stand still to protect themselves from threats. They're not having a staring contest of any kind with you. I've included a helpful video from the DNR in this web story up on our website right now if you'd like to learn more. Julia. Julia, thank you.